The spokesman for the Israeli army said on Thursday that the army killed a Hamas commander who was involved in the killing and kidnapping of Israelis in southern Israel. Muhammad Abu Itawi killed Israeli women and men who were in the Nova party in a cruel and barbaric manner, Hagari said. In his briefing, Hagari refused to say when Israel might attack on Iran, adding that now the army is dismantling and capturing Hezbollah faculties and weapons in Lebanon while continuing their operation in Jabalia in the northern Gaza Strip. Israeli forces have repeatedly returned to Jabalia, a densely populated urban refugee camp dating back to the 1948 war surrounding Israel's creation. The North has already suffered the heaviest destruction of the war and has been encircled by Israeli forces since late last year. Israel ordered the entire population of the northern third of Gaza, including Gaza City, to evacuate to the south in the war's opening weeks and reiterated those instructions this month. Israel dramatically escalated its attacks on parts of Lebanon on September 23, killing nearly 500 people and wounding 1,600 in one day after nearly a year of skirmishes along the Lebanon-Israel border between Israeli troops and the militant Hezbollah group. Israeli ground forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of October. More than 2,574 people have been killed in Lebanon and over 12,000 wounded in the past year of war, according to the country's health ministry, and around 1.2 million people are displaced. Most of the population fled last year, but around 400,000 people are believed to have remained. On October 7, 2023, Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed in, killing some 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. Hezbollah began firing rockets, missiles and drones into Israel, drawing retaliatory airstrikes, Israeli ground forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of October. אנחנו ראינו את חמאס מנסה להשתקם וחוזר והופך את ג'באליה למעוז טרור. צריך להגיד שבצפון הרצועה יש עוד מחבלים. וחלק מהפעולה שלנו עכשיו הוא גם להרוג את המחבלים האלה. ג'באליה היא מעוז כזה, ואנחנו עכשיו מפרקים אותו. לנו יש תוכניות. אני בוודאי כאן, מעל הבמה הזו, לא אתן, לא את העיתוי, לא את המקום. ולא את האופן שבו אנחנו נפעל בהתאם להנחיית הדרג המדיני. אנחנו נעשה מה שנכון ומתי שנכון. עד כה תפסנו יותר מ-3,200 מטענים וכ-2,500 טילים נגד טנקים, RPG, משגרים וטילי קורנט. בנוסף נתפסו רחפנים, אפודי לחימה, קסדות ותחמושת רבה. חלקם הושמדו במקום וחלקם הועברו לחקירה ולתיעוד ולשימוש באמצעות היחידה לפינוי שלל שבאגף הטכנולוגיה והלוגיסטיקה. כמות אמצעי הלחימה שאנחנו מאתרים ממחישה את חשיבות הפעילות הקרקעית של כוחותינו להסרת האיום על יישובי הצפון. Clouds of smoke were seen rising into the sky over southern Lebanon on Thursday. It comes a day after Israeli jets struck multiple buildings in Lebanon's southern coastal city of Tyre, sending up large clouds of black smoke, while Hezbollah confirmed that a top official widely expected to be the militant group's next leader had been killed in an Israeli strike. Israel in the past month has launched a major aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Lebanon as it targets Hezbollah, with strikes hitting the capital, Beirut, and elsewhere. In the wake of its ally Hamas' October 7 attack on Israel and Israel's ensuing offensive in Gaza, Hezbollah began firing rockets, drones and missiles at Israel, and they have exchanged fire regularly since. But recent weeks have seen a significant escalation. Israel has since launched a ground invasion in Lebanon that it says aims to push Hezbollah militants back from the border. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, including some that have reached the country's populous center. 
Israel said it invaded Lebanon to try to stop near-daily rocket attacks from Hezbollah.